today's episode of buying shit off the internet, we're gonna buy an aluminum radiator off of Eagle Bay. Is it gonna be any good? Let's open it up and find out. Here we go. Got a new part in from eBay, y'all. Let's see what we got. And there's a customer. Be right back. All right, attempt number two. We got some parts today for that from the old eBay. My grocery getter parts mobile. The Hemi Magnum. Sweet. Got a little damage right here, so I'm nervous about that. So let's uh, pick this bad boy up and open her up. see if it has any damage. Hopefully not. Doesn't look like it's damaged. Let's check. Ready, ready, ready. It was packed real well. Which is nice. Very, very nice. This should be the relay kit. Let's see. We got a fuse. One relay. That's probably a temperature sensor that we won't use. Won't use none of that junk either. Because we have a Holly system, we will use the relay. I don't like that there's only one relay. Unless it's got two triggers. I'd have to look that up. Because I want this to come on with the AC too. But I can always rewire that later. Let's see, are the fans attached? They are. Nice. I know some of the kits you get, the uh, fans will come with it, but won't be attached. Back looks beautiful. All the welds look good. Cap is a little on the janky side. Oh, that's because it was not a well. Fan shroud looks good. Bolted in. Still loose, but it's there. I like it. I like it, I like it, I like it. Save this plaque big plastic bag eBay for the score remember when these things first came out they were I don't know six hundred dollars or so now you can get them in the 250 range and decent quality all right so, there's our uh, cheap, comparatively speaking, eBay radiator that I'm going to put in this C10. That's the LS swap. If you want to see that install video, I'll leave a link to the Bay Street Motors channel where we do all kinds of good things. And you can watch that install. Cool. Anyway, thanks for watching. Big dirty thumbs up. Approved. Especially for the price. So the radiator is a great piece. Two big issues I have with it. It's got two fans, but only one relay. And it's a crown trigger relay, as they all should be but it has a ring terminal to be body mounted on the ground which would keep it constantly on. So that's that's a big goof on their part. The other big issue is gonna be the temperature switch that they send with it does not thread into the radiator even though it says it will on the um, ad itself. It's got two provisions and this will not go into either one of them. Other than that, it's fine. So far.
I like it. Both fans work. It looks good. So I'm doing my own relays and they're on the way. Yep.